Would you wear this Kim Kardashian ugly crying face shirt? Kim's stepbrother would. Even better, would you buy the Kim Kardashian selfie book? Amanda Steele from Makeup by Mandy 24 breaks down the do's and don'ts of back to school makeup. And are you down with the shaved head trend? It's all ahead on We Spy Style. Hi, I'm Allison McNamara. Welcome back to our show. Joining me, as always, is Jordan Feldman. Hello. Round of applause for you. Thanks. And our Pop Sugar Beauty reporter, Kirby Johnson. Yay! Woo! We love it when you're here. Thank yep. you, Jordan. That was a song for you. I love you. And if this is any omen, obviously it's going to be a beauty week. Our special guest this week is Amanda. You probably recognize her from YouTube as Makeup by Mandy 24. Welcome! Yay. So you're a beauty blogger, you do the whole thing. Beauty so, and fashion. Beauty yeah. and fashion. So how did you get started in all this? Uh, well, when I was 10, I was just looking up YouTube videos and I found beauty videos and I realized that people are actually like making vlogs about this stuff and I thought it was really cool. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna start. So basically you invented the internet. <laughs> basically. You're, you're Al Gore. Sure. <laughs> okay. So you're also gonna be a beauty con, so am I. So yeah. tell us about your involvement with that. For me, like other, like actual celebrities have like um, award shows and that kind of thing where they get all ready with their outfits and the fancy stuff. Yeah, and events like BeautyCon for me is like that. All right, so let's get <laughs> off the show. Grab your flags. There's flags right beside flags. you. Flags. <laughs> it's time for you've been flagged. So all each right. week we flag something that may or may not have missed the mark, and it's up to us to vote. So first off. Would you pay for and wear this Kim Kardashian crying t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Kim K's stepbrother would. Uh, Bruce Jenner's oldest son posted this photo of a tea covered in Kim's ugly crying face with the caption, my new favorite this shirt. So Kim's been known to shed a tear or two on her show. So do you think he's evil for posting this? Then red flag him. Or if you think it's hilarious, green flag it. Vote. <laughs> okay, amazing, right? So good. I would. Act, I might actually wear that. I actually would wear it too. So it's tell us cool. about why you'd wear it. Um, cool. it's funny. That's like the whole thing of Kim K's crying face. It's just hilarious, and it's actually kind of a cool T-shirt. I love you, like Kim. rolled up the sleeves a little bit. Yeah, I love a little. A little yes. Little. All right, I would totally rock this shirt. But one thing I did notice is that her face isn't moving in half of these. Poor girl needs to slow it down on the Botox. She's dead. She's put so much botulism in her head. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it that. She can't move. Usually the family is like all protective. To, you know, very protective of Kim. So the, when he posted this, I loved it. I gotta give him credit. I love it. All right, so green flags all around green for the Kim K flag. ugly crying tea. But we still have one more Kim Kardashian thing. So we have to flag her for her new selfie book, You're Gonna Die. Oh. So for $19.95, you can purchase a 325 page book filled with Kim's best selfies which are, by the way, free on the internet. It originally was made for Kanye's eyes only, but now it's hitting Barnes & Noble. So red or green flag, Kim selfie book, vote. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch their show, it like shows her taking all the selfies. Mm -hmm. Like over vacation. and over again. Like yeah. the girl never quits. That's what she does the whole entire vacation. Mm -hmm. She is so <laughs> self-obsessed, <laughs> in love with herself. I mean, it literally makes me want to impale my head on <laughs> these points. Okay, money if on you the planet. could take selfies and sell it and people would buy it, wouldn't you do it? Yes. Yeah. No. If you no. Yes. Them, I like, wouldn't. wouldn't. No, you know? I'd spend the time and or the money and give it back to people who need it instead of being like, oh, look at all the filler in my face. But it's can't awful. we argue that she does do that? She says that she claims to give like 10% of, of everything all, everything that she does to charities. So 10%? 10%. And I do have Bump to say. Bump it up, sister. <laughs> now Kim can say that she has literally written the book on selfies. Yep. To, to make, Are there to, words? To not, to, I don't think she so. doesn't know how to read. I mean, <laughs> why would there be words? Sure, I'm sure she paid right. people in high school to do her homework. Red flags all around for the selfie book. Let yeah. us know if you're going to buy that out there. We want to know. All right, we've got a beauty focused show today since we've got Amanda and Kirby on. So our trend of the week is shaved heads. So we're seeing this more and more in Hollywood. Natalie Dormer's got it. Kelly Osbourne just did it. Demi Lovato is a recent addition too, as is Kylie Jenner. So what do we think of this trend? Amanda? I like it on the side. I'm not a huge fan of the back. I don't know how that would work. Like why do people do that? Well, let me just speak for the Texans here. Okay. It's really hot, so when it's like resting Stop on it. the back, uh, I'm not kidding, resting on the back of your neck, 
They like to shave underneath That's and put up. I don't know how she would wear it though. I haven't seen, like that. That she's just holding it back, you know. Yeah, it's a little like Miley Cyrus. Like, for me, what do you think of this? You, you know, I think it was kind of done like four years ago. Yeah. When it started doing like, the like it's So over that, like, I don't know why people are doing it now. I think they mm. do it to sort of be a badass, but like yeah. when you're doing a trend four years later and it's not sort of back in fashion, it yeah. hasn't come full circle. You're kind of. You're also a badass for like a week, and then it starts growing out, and then yeah, you've got yeah, like the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of like and a friend weird. of mine did it, and she was like, "I love it, I love it." Then she tried to grow it back, and it was a mess. Especially if you do this side, though, then miserable. it's like if you don't have enough hair to fully cover it, then you've got like this awkward stuff. Like my hair's really straight; uh, it'll be jutting out. Like when it's this long, it's like that's not chic. So, do we think it's here to stay or gone in a day? Shaved off in a day. <sighs> gone in a day. All right. Shaved off in a day. Same. Yep, gone in a day. I'm over it. Each week we salute the internet to share our most viral stories for sharing is caring. So we've got a little style twist. I'm gonna start off. So, so I saw this article on this little girl being banned from school for a distracting hair color. And I find that so sad because she's like a little mermaid, a fellow ginge like myself. She's just doing her. I think it's horrible. It's horrible, it right? She's yeah. expressing who she is. Go ahead. When I went to school, well, I went to a public Back school. in those days. <laughs> I know, she's like, way back, back when. when. Three days ago. Okay, but I wasn't being homeschooled. Like, that would happen a lot if people had, like, bright colored hair or whatever. They would make them dye it back. Or, really? Yeah. And this is a public school in, in California. Interesting. So what do you guys think on that? I think it's terrible. It's a form of self-expression. It's not hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. And it's similar to, you know, dressing the way you want to dress. Let her keep her red hair. Yeah, poor it's girl. Horrible. So annoying. All right, who's next? Jordan. Okay, so for my sharing is caring, I chose... Ah! Oh, since Meg Kuna, our other chose... host, is in here today, we, you gift her. I chose Meg Kuna. What? Yarning in the middle of last week's episode. While I'm talking. While Allison is talking, <laughs> literally yawning. That's awkward. On set, in the middle of the show, not trying to hide it. I think she like felt so comfortable because like I was eating pretzels, and so maybe she felt like she was in someone's living room and she forgot oh that God. she was in front of I the camera. I think she's gonna murder yawning. you. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry, Meg, are we keeping you up? <laughs> I love I it. Know. She's so gonna just, love that one. Yeah, I had to highlight that. Amanda, yeah. what's yours? Um, Justin Bieber. I don't know how to say it. Show money dance or show money dance. Show money dance. Show money dance. That show was something. embarrassing. Just, <laughs> let's, just, never, <laughs> let's never rehash. Let's watch the video. <laughs> I actually made a couple videos doing it. Okay. It's just like it's like slow movements, like posing to this one song. It's voguing. It's like, it's by the way, it's, by the way, it's just it's voguing. Dancing. That's Vogue, It's just right? moving to the beat. Let's be clear. Yeah, honestly, to that song. But yeah. also, here's my question. I, it's not a question, actually. You guys, <laughs> Justin Bieber doesn't know he's white. No one told him. And same with Miley Cyrus. <laughs> okay, mine is Taylor Swift at the Kids' of Choice is. Awards. <laughs> Love me some separate. Swifties. <laughs> and her matching separate, she looked good, okay? We've had some amazing memories here together at the Teen Choice Awards. And so I was excited when they asked me to come and present this award because no one knows more about dramatic males than I do. Here are your nominees for your choice male in a drama. She's cute, I like that she makes fun of herself. I love that. How much love do you it. love that? There's nothing better than self-deprecating humor. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Yeah, Swift, she could do whatever. We have a little lightning <laughs> round for her, you. It's them, sweeter. We have a little lightning round for you. It's a beauty, like I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. It's all about beauty and little fashion stuff. So, I know. So bottom or top eyeliner? Top. Top. Colorful lip or no lip? Colorful. Foundation or tinted moisturizer? Foundation. BB cream or CC cream? BB cream? Facial wipes or face wash? Facial wipes. Yeah, me too. Favorite mascara? Lancome Hypnostrama. Oh, that one's good. Bronzer or blush? Bronzer. Shimmer or no shimmer? No shimmer. Thoughts on like the black or burgundy lipstick? Love it. Chokers? I love it. All right, and top knot or low bun? Low bun. Cute, I love Interesting. it. Interesting. Interesting. Low bun. Low bun, I was expecting the top knot. Me I, I was pretty spot well, on with- it's too short now. 
Oh, I can't get it all the way up there. <laughs> we could try. All right. It's time for a round of style trial. So this week we're doing a one minute back to school beauty makeover, but there is a catch as always. We're showcasing the do's and the don'ts of beauty. So right now, Kirby, our beauty expert, is gonna showcase the don'ts on me. I'm very nervous. And then Amanda's gonna showcase the do's on Sarah, who works here at Pop Sugar with us. And Jordan is going to stand in the back. All right, so, <laughs> so let's get 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, in three, two, one. Okay. okay. Uh, that's really ugly. Close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then Kirby is now putting like my orange. hot pink over your orange. I like orange. orange I had. You probably shouldn't talk. Yep, Why does Sarah, Sarah get to look good? In 10, no. 9, what is that? 8, oh. 7, 6, 5, 4, oh God, Do I look three, pretty? Two, Windswept? One! <laughs> Okay, so why is this a don't? Okay, this is a don't because you don't want to go with a bold eye and a bold lip. You okay. want to stick to either one or the other. <laughs> also, I highly recommend that you only line the top lid, not the bottom. Allison, you're looking so <laughs> amazing. And if you're gonna wear blush, like keep it to a bare minimum. Don't go all the way up to your temples and like maybe lightly pat it onto your skin. Oh no, my blush is off? Oh wow. So okay. yeah, keep it natural for your first so, day of school. This is how not to look. Glad to be at the demo. Please do not for that. look like that. Okay. That was my greatest. Oh, Amanda, yeah. please tell us how you made Sarah so absolutely stunningly gorgeous. All right. For back to school, it should be just very fresh and natural. So I just put the shimmery eyeshadow on her lids, something lighter so it brightens it up, and some mascara to open up her eyes more and just a light blush on her cheeks. Very natural, and it just gives a little bit of a rosy glow. And then um, a lip color. I chose a nude color because it's more natural. Yeah. So you're all about the natural look for back mm -hmm. to school beauty. She right. looks good, doesn't she? She looks great. I mean, she looks fresh. beautiful. I kind of like what I'm working fresh. with, but you know, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Well, Not <laughs> aged, fresh. <laughs> Well, you guys heard it from Amanda first. Make sure to check out her YouTube channel for more beauty tips on how not to look like this. I guess you'd go on a Pop Sugar Beauty to find out how to look like this. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, thank you so much for joining hey, us. Thanks for having Woo! me. Yay! I'm gonna go wash my face. Why? Or should I leave it on? Leave it on. All right. Saved by the Bell is having their 25th anniversary, so Jordan and I put together a fun little segment. Check it out. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the 90s. Hey, 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 what is going on here? In celebration of Saved by the Bell's 25th anniversary, here's a look back at some awesome le le lessons we've learned. Lesson number one, put your own twist on everything. Take a classic look and make it your own. So preppy prints meets wild prints, meets statement sneakers, meets a giant cell phone. Sure, if it's your signature look. Oh yeah, number two, if you got it, flaunt it. These are the days of our lives, people. Don't be shy. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Huh? Okay, take note of all the denim here. So acid wash, super duper high-waisted, oversized. These styles are still totally acceptable if done right, which Jordan has done. Number four, extreme print mixing can be a bit much, but take a day and do it. Do it. Do it, do it. You're guaranteed to have an interesting time. Yeah, lots, lots and lots of prints, right? Yeah. Okay, lesson number five, I think. Scrunchies, duh. Hats, of course. Headbands. Hell yeah, the accessory game at Bayside never fails to amaze. And those, my friends, are the top style lessons that we learned and still execute from Saved by the Bell. Do we miss any? I don't think we did. I mean, look at us. We look pretty We're damn pretty flawless. Good. We pre we're pretty Bayside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is awkward. Um, but who's looking hot in Hollywood this week? We've got the best <laughs> of the dress. All right, Kirby, who is your choice? Let me guess, Taylor Swift. Shut up, Taylor. Oh, God. God. Yeah. Okay, hold on. You so, just, oh, my God. I actually looked up who made this. Novice. Novice. Yes. And I want to buy it, but you can't get it now. So 
Um, I just think she, she just she has a perfect body for this, and she's been rocking crop tops for several weeks, months. That's all she owns, by the way. I Taylor know. Swift only owns crop There's tops. There's nothing in her closet except for Little sets. crop top matching sets. It's like Doug Funny when he pulls things out. It's like, me, 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 me. Did you watch <laughs> that show? No. I love that she matched with the yellow shoes. And I think, honestly, I'm glad she looked this good with her wardrobe because her hair is a hot mess. Oh, my God. It's, it's like in that really terrible in-between phase of growing out. And, you know, bless her, I get it. Growing out your hair is terrible, but I couldn't even deal with this hairstyle. It looks like a mop. She should have, like, like slicked it back in a little pony or something. Yeah. That would be really cute. My choice is Alexa Chung. She's wearing Amelia Aww. Wickstead. It's a high neck, which... I actually was going to do that for a trend of the week, but I might do it next week because a lot of celebrities are wearing the high neck dress right now. So pretty. The mock turtleneck. And then the shoes are Bionda Castana. Bionda Castana. Bionda, amazing. Bionda Castana. She's actually worn these a lot. And I, one thing I love about Alexa Chung is that she has a very working wardrobe, so she wears things over and over again. Uh -huh. So on the press release that I received, she actually worn these shoes like three other times before. So. Working nice. yeah. wardrobe. Working wardrobe. That is a term I'm not familiar with. She rewears things. No, I, I understand, and I like it. Oh, good. So yeah. it was your choice. You know, I chose Robin Williams. Oh, of course you did. But I know by the time that the show airs, it's going to be a week later, so I know it's not going to be sort of in the rounds of what people are talking about necessarily, but the whole experience affected me so profoundly that it just made me, I, I wanted to, you know. Give him uh, another Give him moment. a little nod. Just because he, I don't know, it was just so sad for me. Like it's so I, sad. I love that you did that because I feel like all of us here grew up with his movies. Mm -hmm. And he was not only an amazing comedian, but so many people have come out and said that he's such an amazing person. Way to make a somber we'll best you. of the dressed. We will miss you. All right, so moving on, we are shopping addicts at We Spice Style, and for buy one thing, since it's a beauty week, we've decided to use the Shop Style app to select our favorite fall beauty items. So, Kirby, what do you have? Okay, I have two. First one, <laughs> obviously. I have nine. <laughs> Hope you got time. So, Clinique, they're chubby sticks. Everyone. Excuse me? Yes, they're called I'm chubby sorry. sticks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I promise you, I am not leading you astray. This is one of the best products out there. Just came out this month. This is gonna make your lips feel like velvet, okay? With a little bit of color. My second pick is from A Beautiful Life. It's Unicorn's Mane. Oh my God! It is a smoothing serum for your hair. This stuff smells delectable. You put it in after the shower when your hair is still wet. It helps smooth out the ends, makes your hair look nice and glossy, and when it dries, it's gonna look silky and shiny. And you can get this at Urban Outfitters, and I've really been loving the beauty selection that they've had on hand lately. Awesome. All right, Jordan, what Who do you got? Who names this crap? It's cool. <laughs> unicorn's Mane. Who doesn't want a Unicorn's Mane? <laughs> unicorn's Mane. <laughs> What's your beauty pick? <laughs> My beauty pick for fall are books. <laughs> Buy a book. Make your brain beautiful. Smart is sexy. Jordan, no so one can compete so with that. Go online. No, you know what? Go to the Have books. Have you read all these? Excuse me. <laughs> go to the bookstore. Buy it. Read it. Become enlightened. You're welcome. Okay, well, I have a beauty product Great. for you guys. Buy a book! So I chose the Too Faced Get Melted Liquefied Lipstick in Melted Berry. So these are their brand new kind of hybrid between a matte lipstick and a lip gloss because it goes on like a lip gloss but it actually goes on very matte and it stays on really well. You know this is going to have a cult following because so many other brands now are trying to mimic this exact product. Oh, but really? they can't match the texture or the finish. Loves it. Interesting. Well, you can shop our beauty picks and Jordan's books on Shop Style, but that would it's be kind true. of contradictory because this is an online show and, you know, they'd be buying the books online and you just told them to go to the bookstore. Well, but that's I, okay. I, for the They're experience all available of on Shop Style. Going to a bookstore. That wraps up our show. No. Tweet us, tag us, comment. No. We want to hear from you guys. And let us know what you want to see on the show in the future because we're always listening, watching, writing, well, and share you with know, your friends. Get us the 10,000 views on this video. You know, Allison, people sometimes do offer suggestions of what we can do on the show. If you look in the comments section that I, apparently I always respond to. I do look in the comments section. Can I just tell you that today someone wrote, is this a real Jordan Feldman? You're responding to everything. Cut the crap. Well, the real Jordan <laughs> Feldman, please stand up. Please, please stand, stand up. up. 
Please Blue stand, stand up. up. What is it called? The Cho Money? That's the Slim Oh, the Cho Money. Yeah, Amanda, this <laughs> one's for you. He's practicing. Ooh, that was disgusting. 